What's up everybody, welcome back to a movie commentary. Now, this isn't the first time I'm gonna be doing a binging series. Now, I did the longest, I put a poll up and I literally forgot Harry Potter is 20 hours. I was thinking, okay, I can finish this in like 10 hours. And then I realized there's eight movies. For some weird ass reason, I thought there was six. I actually forgot there was eight. All eight of them are longer than two hours, I think. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this in two days. I, I wanted to do it in half a day, and yeah, it's literally 20 hours. So, the next couple binges will be Twilight. I'm gonna put it up, but I think there's Twilight and High School Musical, and I think it was The Hunger Games, or something like that. I don't know which order, but I'm going by boats. And then the other two movies, which I'm gonna be doing in between, I think it's Titanic, Mean Girls, and ah, I forgot the last one, but it's, again, it's going to be on the screen. Okay, Harry Potter, seen first one, which was like 15 years ago, I think, and the fourth one, which was something to do with a maze. That's what I remember, a maze and a gold egg. Look, was that an egg? I'm quite sure there was a gold egg involved with the plot or something like that. I don't know, it's been over 10 years. And that's it. Um, so, it's gonna be very interesting. I don't know if any of the main characters died. If anything, I re I don't know if I don't mind one dying. One dying? Uh, one of the three probably have to die. I'm, I'm quite sure. It'll, it'll make no sense, really. There has to be some type of threat. Somebody has to die in eight movies. Okay, so the first one called Harry. P oh, yeah, okay. Plus the stone rings a bell. But I, I literally can't remember. I think it was like 10 when I actually watched it. But let's get straight into it. Okay, she just turned. She was a cat. Can you imagine you just talking to a random cat? You really think it's safe? Leaving him with these people. I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles. Imagine. She watched them because she was a cat. I was wondering, that's kind of creepy. Up. Get up. Why well, tell him to get up and just push him? How many are there? Thirty-six. Counted them myself. Thirty-six, but last year, last year I had thirty-seven. I don't. I forgot his name. I think the mum already said his name. I really don't care. Maybe something happens to him. Maybe like the fifth or sixth because he'd be older. I don't know if you know they're gonna do any people, children dying. But I already hit. He had thirty-six presents and thirty-seven. That's that's seventy three. Move! Move! He's asleep. They're both being like mimes. Like, why are you going up? It's not gonna do anything. Just break the window, please. Your mail in the bin, in the fire. Finally, I was about to say there was thousands of them and he couldn't get any. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He, he was actually serious when he was saying we're going far away. I thought, okay, they moved to a different country or something. They went in the middle of nowhere and a lighthouse. Like how, how, how did he get food? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not Harry. I, I am. Blimey, Harry, didn't you ever wonder where your mum and dad learned it all? Learned what? You're a wizard, Harry. Hey, the famous line. I just didn't know when it was going to come. Please do something to the kid. He's eating the cake. He's eating. Oh, yeah, he. Why is he eating it? Like. I don't know if that's a rat tail or whatever, but he was eating like a rat. Oops.
Oh, they got a roller coaster. Vault 687. I didn't even want to go to the vault. Let me ride that. Let me ride the roller coaster. I would love to do that. So did their parents steal the bank? Did his parents steal the bank or something? Why? Why they're so rich? I wonder. Yikes. Zs, butter, mellow. Turn this stupid fat rat yellow. So I'm guessing one is not going to be good at magic. For example, Oculus Reparo. Right then. Wait, the hat can. Right. The hat okay. can speak? Gryffindor! Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Raven. That's it. I always forget Ravenclaw. Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Personality thing to do with where you go. Like, Slytherin people just look like troublemakers throughout the whole thing. Come on now, hurry up. Stick your right hand over the broom and say up. Neville. Oh, ash. Face. Maybe if the fat lump would give him this a squeeze, he would remember to fall on his fat ass. <laughs> give it here, Malfoy. Harry, no way. You heard what Madame Hoop said. Besides, you don't even know how to fly. Harry's just like, shut up, Hermione. Wingardium Leviosa. Stop. Leviosa. Yeah, Hermione's a beast. Ah, oh, I felt that. I felt that. That shit, that felt like it hurt. Wait, that, that, that knocked him out, really? I want a nice, clean game. From all of you. Takes possession of a quaffle. Bletchley passes to Captain Marcus Flint. Give me that. Wait, are you allowed to do that? Harry, like, is Harry getting attributes or something? He can fly while standing now. He's got the snitch! Harry Potter receives 150 points for catching the snitch! Gryffindor wins! That's what Fluffy's guarding on the third floor. That's what's under the trap door. The Philosopher's Stone. Eating what? What, what the hell is he eating? Is that a unicorn or a horse? Harry. Do something. Is Hagrid gonna come and like manhandle? I'm guessing that's Voldemort. So a centaur just came, did whatever, yeah? And Voldemort decided to leave but then fly away. First of all, he took his time. And Harry did that classic, you know, drop, let me fall on the floor and you know, give me some suspension and try and do something, but it never really happened. That thing that killed the unicorn, that was drinking its blood, that was Voldemort. You're sneaking out again, aren't you? Now Neville, listen. Neville, Neville, you just, just pretend you didn't see anything, Neville. I won't let you. Oh. You're gonna wake up with a really, no really big bump. So she was telling the truth. You just had to relax and just let you go through. We're looking for a big old fashioned one. Probably rusty like the handle. There, I see it. The one with the broken wing. That one wasn't even really that hard. Like, it was kind of easy for him. The queen will take me. Then you're free to check the king. No, 
Ron, no! I don't, I don't really get this. First of all, okay, so he said Harry can do something. I, feel, I literally already forgot what he said, right? So they can all play as a team. Why the hell is Ron on the night then? On the horse? It made no sense. So I'm quite sure he can just play from standing up like Harry could do. Why did Ron scream so loud? If if it like got his leg, it stabbed his leg or something, cool. But it stabbed the horse and you dropped. I don't know how, that's like five feet or something. Cause they're like four feet something. So you drop like five feet. You didn't get hit. It hit the horse and you, he screamed like he got shot. Well, next to him, who would suspect? B -b 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 stuttering Professor Quirrell. <laughs> you know, someone's back up their head. Tell me. Oh, he's playing the parent card. That could work on the kid. How are you doing? Wash his hands. That's what happens when you don't wash your hands. Take my germs. While others were in grave peril. 50 points. The game of chess that Hogwarts has seen these many years. 50 points. So Ron is not really dumb. He can play chess, so he has some intellect. Oh, long bottom. <laughs> that was like, I really didn't do anything, but I'll take that 10 points and the win. Feels strange to be going home, doesn't it? I'm not going home. Not really. Ah, oh, because Hogwarts is your home now? Basically, that's what he means. Okay, now it's kind of nice. Oh, great. Plus for Stone. Real nice. I don't know why. I've been thinking they've been doing this whole Snape is a bad guy thing for a while until he does become a bad guy. Um, I don't know when he is. Hopefully, like by the third or fourth one, because it'll be like 14 or 15, so we can see more action. Um, yeah, that was actually kind of really good. I kind of want Hermione and Harry to have a relationship, but I'm probably going to have to wait until like the third or fourth until I get, you know, a little bit older, and then they have start having feelings for girls and boys, and then that, I might see what happens. Um, but... Sometimes you get fooled, sometimes not. Now, I think the second one is called Chamber of Secrets. So, like, in the beginning, we had the Plus for Stone, and then we got the Chamber. Like, they have so many hidden places in Hogwarts. And, like, quite sure after the first one, you wouldn't have any more secrets or move it outside of the school. It's kind of weird to have so much stuff, so much secrets in, in the school with a bunch of children. And secret messages to your freaky little friends? No, sir. But I haven't had any messages from many of my friends. Yeah. Waiting to welcome them graciously to our home. Good. And, and Dudley, you will be... I'll be waiting to open the door. Dudley, oh my god. Please, something happened to him. What the hell is that? Who are you? Dobby, sir. Dobby the house elf. No, I haven't. That was an awful thing to say. Ah, Dobby! Dobby, re relax. Re you're gonna hurt yourself. I, I actually like Dobby right now, but whoa. Let's not go back to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry this year. There is a plot. Dobby, get back here. I wish it had stayed upstairs. Nah, it looks like he dropped it. So someone's plotting something against Harry because he's, he's finally back at school or like everybody knows like he goes to Hogwarts now from the first movie. So it goes to the same thing, it's a secret called Chamber of Secrets. So there's something in the chamber. Um, who does Dobby serve? 
he didn't say that, so hopefully we find out which family he serves. Hey, hurry up! They do. They have no chores. It's not much, but it's home. Oh, wait, no. Um, mummy, have you seen my jumper? Yes, it was on the cat. Hello. I forgot her name. I remember when she said something like "good luck" in the first one when Harry was gonna go through on the platform. Does she have a cro Oh no, it has to be Harry and Hermione. No. No, I don't even know how much younger she is than Harry. I don't think she's going this year. So she's at least two years younger. No, yeah, Harry and Hermione has to have something. Or at least a kiss. Diagon Alley. What him doesn't work? You did you just burn? Very clearly. He's gonna go somewhere somewhere weird. Diagonally. He didn't say it right. He didn't say it right. No, please. Harry! Hagrid! What do you think you're doing down here? Why is Hagrid down here? It can't be Harry Potter. Incidentally, is currently celebrating its 27th week atop the Daily Profit bestseller. Oh, Malfoy is here as well? Just Malfoy. Uh, the dad? Forgive me. Okay, yeah, he has a scar. You don't have to go that close. Muggles, aren't they? Is Harry gonna hit the wall? You're gonna hit the wall, Harry. <laughs> yes. I knew that was gonna happen, but I didn't know both of them were gonna hit the wall. Okay, wait, were they late? Were they like a little bit late and they just closed off? Like, why did that happen? I really don't know. But, oh, from the beginning, from the first movie, I was like, it has to be. They're spending too much time, especially on this one. I was like, okay, they're revisiting it. So, it's something that has to happen now. <laughs> so, they damaged the car. Of which weekly's most charming smile award? He has awards for his smiles. <laughs> Come on now, round them up, round them up. This guy's useless. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mob blood. Damn, that was deep. Even I felt that. No, Colin, get out of the way. Uh, let's take him to Hagrid's. <laughs> oh. He'll know what to do. Multiple slugs are coming out from his stomach. That's disgusting. Harry. Did you hear it? Hear what? That voice. Voice? What voice? Strange. Never seen spiders act like that. The spiders that are running away from something, or is it a spider? What's that? It's Vulture's cat. It's Mrs. Norris. Oh. Oh. I'll kill ya. I'll kill ya! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why did you go straight to Harry? So unlucky I wasn't there. I know exactly the counter curse that could have spared her. <laughs> You're like, really? Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin. Oh, so that's where the names came from. From actual people. Okay, for a second, I thought Albus was one of them. Legend. Slytherin had built a hidden chamber in this castle, known as the Chamber of Secrets. Watch yourself, Harry! Walk, look out! Watch him back. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, the thing's behind them as well.
made no sense. That made no sense. You're trying to tell me she's in second grade. I don't know how they count the years in, you know, Hogwarts. She's in the second year. She's the only wizard who decided to do that. All the teachers are looking at it like, it's fine. It's fine. It's legal. Whatever. Hagrid didn't do nothing. Dumbledore. It's a whole bunch of teachers, you know, at the top. And Hermione is the one who wants to destroy it. You stopped the barrier from letting Ron and me through. Indeed. Yes, sir. You better clear off before my bones come back, Dobby, or I might strangle you. <laughs> Dobby is doing some weird shit, but I like him. He's my favorite character. It is as we feared, Minerva. The Chamber of Secrets has indeed been opened again. Really? Let me introduce. I bet you that cape stinks. My assistant, Professor Snape. Three. Expelliarmus. <laughs> Might I suggest someone from my own house? Malfoy. I knew it. Man, they're literally just building this rivalry up. Victor Sempra! <laughs> Damn, Harry knows some moves too. Okay, we're going back and forth. What's bad? If I hadn't told that snake not to attack Justin. Oh, that's what you said to it. Oh, Harry, what did you do? Oh, ha. I. Uh, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything else. Oh shit. Uh, it's exactly an hour before we change back into ourselves. Don't want it. I don't want it. No. Nope. You need to sound more like crab. Uh, bloody hell. He sounds like he's confused. You'd never know the Weezys were pure bloods, the way they behave. They're an embarrassment to the wizarding world, all of them. Is this what he talks about? Worse than Dumbledore? Well, do you? Harry Potter? Nice save. Yes, Draco would agree with that. Guts was opened, and Mudblood died. Oh, so it's shit. Only a of time before one of them is killed this time. It is not wise to be wandering around this late hour, Tom. Yes, Professor. Damn, Dumbledore still looked old I'm... 50 years ago. Again? And Hermione... had the mirror. I bet you anything she was using it to look around... She figured it out. She figured it out. Oh, wait. She's not. She's still alive. But only just. Are you a ghost? A memory. In a kind of trance? Damn. Still, the power of the diary began to scare her. And she tried to dispose of it in the girls' bathroom. Thomas Voldemort. So Voldemort is like what? How old? Like 70 something? Shit, he's still alive and kicking. Damn, I never suspected he was gonna. I thought it was like one of his followers or something. I forgot your name. Fox. That's it. Damn, it grew so quickly. Okay, can't Harry just talk to the snake as well and tell it to stop? Quite sure. He can talk to snakes, so he can do that, right? Ah, shit, he got hit. Oh, because that's, that's made out of a certain something, right? Master has presented Dobby with clothes. Dobby is free. Finally, I was like, there has to be some way to get him out of here. Wait, Dobby's that powerful? Hey, this movie was definitely better than the first one. I don't know. I think there was a little bit more threat in here. It was like someone really was going to die. And then the plot. But 
Is Voldemort always going to be appearing in each movie and finding ways to actually, you know, become alive fully? And there's probably going to be like one, I was about to say episode, one actual movie when he does come back. I actually can't wait because I'm tired of him, you know, coming back as, you know, his past versions on the back of someone's head. So I'm guessing the next one, I can't remember what that one's called, but the next one he might come back or maybe between three and five because there's only so many times you can bring him back and then keep saying he's going to find ways to come back. Prisoner of Azkaban, they mentioned that in the second one. I think Hagrid went to that or something. I guess it's like the main jail or something like that. Brandy. Look how much. What day is this? This is like a big day event. What did you say? My dad wasn't a drunk. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she bloated or something. Oh shit. She just gained like 400 pounds. Don't you dare! Sorry. Wait, so where did she go? Did. Like, did someone bring her back down? Did she eventually come down? Is she just gonna die? Did she keep on getting it? I don't know what happened to her. Hopefully, you know, we can find out soon. They have emergency bosses? So you mean I can just leave my fam- well. If I was always, I could just leave my family in the middle of the night, doesn't matter, and then they'll pick me up. <laughs> yeah, this is a strange. Is that a whole coke, or is that too much coffee? Yes! She just passed. Who is that? You know who. Reckon you've heard of him? Yeah. Him I've heard of. Try to kill me. So wait, so Sirius Black is going to be like the villain of this movie? The irresponsible. The state of things, sir? We have a killer on the loose. Sirius Black, you mean? Who did? Who did Sirius Black kill? <laughs> oh, how are we going to get eaten by a book? Oh, you might have destroyed your shoe as well. Keep that bloody beast of yours away from scabbers, or I'll turn it into a tea cozy. It's a cat, Ronald. What do you expect? It's in his nature. Why, why is Hermione and Ron over here? Like, they have their own place. Like, why did they travel here as well? Stuff like mummies, tombs. Even scabbers enjoyed himself. You know the Egyptians used to wash a cat? Yeah, along with a dung beetle. Harry, there are some within the ministry who would strongly discourage me from divulging what I'm about to reveal to you. Black lost everything, but to this day, he still remains a faithful servant. Yeah, what happened with the... I don't know why I've got beef jerky, but yeah. Just came in with no name. Guards of Azkaban is gone now. He was searching the train for Sirius Black. Why? Excuse me, I need to have a little word with the driver. When only he remembers to turn on the light. That was cool. Did Dumbledore change? I think it's a different Dumbledore. Because the one in the first two movies looked a bit older. And his beard's a little well, he, he looks completely different, so I'm quite sure this is a different Dumbledore. This term we shall be focusing on Tesumancy, which is the art of reading tea leaves, so please take the cup of the person sitting opposite you. There's always that one teacher in each movie for Harry Potter who just seems crazy. There's the first one which um I forgot all their names already. The first one which had a Voldemort on the back of his head. The second one was the, I think he was the defense. The one who had Snape had that one on one duel with. He was kind of weird too. And then this one. Oh, that's happiness. So, uh, you 
You're gonna suffer, mm -hmm. but you're gonna be happy about it. It's your dog. It's among the darkest omens in our world. It's an omen of death. That just look like a dirty cop to me. I don't know what you're on about. Isn't he beautiful? What do you call that? Oh, too buckby. How could it have like the most crazy creatures? <laughs> Back off, Harry. Back off. Not so fast, Harry. Wait, what? Hermione and Ron? What's, what is going You're supposed to be with Harry. Well, Hogwarts is actually a very big place. I mean, the school's big, first of all, but the land is massive. Right, I've been rude. Oh, for... no. <laughs> Malfoy deserves that. I wish Harry punched him, but he deserves that. Black could be anywhere. It's like trying to catch smoke. It's like trying to catch smoke with your bare hands. That black kid has just been so negative. This is twice now. Come on, be positive. Intriguing, isn't it? Never think. Ridiculous! Ah! Oh, does that what his grandmother wears? Oh shit! Wait, 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 wait. So, Harry did it and it turned into a Dementor. And then he stepped. I don't know why he stepped in the way because I'm quite sure it won't have the Dementor's powers so that was kind of weird and then he stepped in the way and it just had the moon or did it just like is that his fear or did it just like randomly just turn into a moon your mother was there for me at a time when no one else was not only was she a singularly gifted witch you're more like them than you know her time you'll come to see just how much i think he might be a bad guy he's in the middle he can go either way at the moment spending too much time on him mr filch round up the ghosts tell them to search every painting in the castle it's him headmaster the one they all talk about he's here somewhere in the castle serious black <laughs> how did he how does he get in and get out of places? I know he went to the school most likely, but... Excuse me, sir. Where's Professor Lupin? That's not really your concern. He has no choice. With each full moon, when he transforms, he no longer remembers who he is. He'd kill his best friend if he crossed his path. ...is to become a werewolf. Is Lupin a werewolf? Just because I think like 20 minutes ago they had that thing to do with the moon and then Hermione said you can't control it and he just suddenly disappeared and now Snape has made them you know start reading up on werewolves so I'm guessing like all the teachers know he's a werewolf why are they playing when it's lightning Momentum. I don't know, Arresto Momentum. Moira is probably a powerful spell. Is that really Dumbledore? In his steady pacing, does that a lot. So you mean this map shows everyone superior? <laughs> I hope you don't mean yourself. How dare you talk to me? Filthy little mudblood. Okay, you've been saying that for like three movies now. He told you know who. Not oh. only did Black lead you know who to the Potters that night, but he also killed one of their friends. And remains to this day. Harry Potter's godfather. He's Harry. So he was really close. So is Sirius Black really bad? Or is he really good? Because if it's his godfather, then the other movies he might turn good. Allow it to fill you up. Lose yourself, minutes. Expecta! Expecta! Harry! Expect. Harry! Expecto Patronum! Harry! 
that a lot. Base. I mean, he said it that time. Oh, that's like serious. The person serious black killed with the finger. And nor do I. Now, if you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you could lower your wand. Harry is talking back to Snape. This is how he is now when he's three years older. Severus, it looks to me as though it's merely a parchment designed to insult anyone who tries to read it. It's, <laughs> I suspect it's a Zonko. Someone I know to be dead. Oh, really? And who might that be? Peter Pettigrew. Trade his friends whose heart drops with murder shall break free. I said she was crazy. <laughs> What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, oh. Mm. Mm, that was a good ass that was a good ass punch. I wanna watch that again. <laughs> oh, oh. That was so satisfying. I always thought it was gonna be Harry. <laughs> Is that Lupin? Oh, wait. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Where do you suppose this goes? When is Harry and Hermione gonna have a moment? Like, like a really, really good moment together when they get together or something. Ramos. I knew it! Lupin is a b <sighs> See, that's how I know they both can turn into stuff. He can, Sirius can turn into a dog. I thought that was a wolf. So I don't know what type of dog that is. And then Lupin can turn into a werewolf. So that's how they're friends. Well, I'm quite sure they have like other ways how they're friends, but they just both be turning into stuff and running in the wild. Expelliarmus! Harry, what are you Harry, doing? What are you so serious? What would you have done? What would you have done? I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die rather than betray my friends! Oh shit. He should just. Mmm. We were my old friend. Okay, now that's a werewolf, not a dog. Do the spell! Expecto Patronum! That ain't gonna work. There's like hundreds of them. I don't know who can do that. Ain't Dumbledore, but so she can just use this to go back in time. And this is why they keep saying, "Oh, how did she get here?" Okay, don't. I don't want none of you guys to die. I like Lupin now, so yeah, don't do anything too bad. Harry! Expecto Patronum! With that bass. See that bass he gave this time? The bigger the bass, the bigger the spell. And that was the first time Harry made Hermione scream. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I should have said that. That's so young. Sacked. No. No. I resign, actually. Resign? Till then. Mischief managed. Man, I like Lupin. He grew with me after like I realized he was a good person. It's a firebolt. It's the fastest broom in the world. For me. But who sent it? Okay. Ah. You know what? I like this one better than Chamber of Secrets as well. It's like each one is getting better, but you know, at a point, I think just because they're getting older and then they can do experiment with more plots. Now, Lupin and Sirius. As you know, Sirius, I really do like him. Hopefully, Harry, you know, gets to actually do what they said and he gets to move in. I don't know, maybe not the next one, but maybe like the fifth or sixth, because he still needs to get his name cleared. And I think that will probably take like a whole movie. So hopefully like by the 5th, 6th, or maybe 7th, he starts living with Sirius. That would be cool. I actually want to see that. Also, in the prison, 
is all of Voldemort's like followers over there and because Sirius broke out I'm quite sure they might break out very soon and I don't know if that's gonna happen I can see that being a plot like them them going after Harry but this one was based more on you know his parents friends and it looks like setting a very big story for the next couple of movies I like how we got to go back and see all the people who actually was with James and his mom also in the second movie I think it was Draco's dad I think he's a follower of Voldemort he's just too creepy and you know the whole thing when he gave the book to Ginny so it's like he's trying to do something as well and then in this movie we had you know um, the guy who runs rap so one of them has a rap no more and that was a compliment of Voldemort so it looks like we're getting to see his followers so very soon either some people who are like more dangerous with it will probably come or Voldemort has to come somehow but I don't know how he's gonna come because first one he came with the back of someone's head other one a past version Tom Riddle and he wasn't in the third one at all yeah so I have a fourth or fifth, he has to make another appearance somehow. So that's going to be really cool. I do know the fourth one's called the Goblet of Fire, and it has a maze and a golden egg for something. So, yeah, that's all I remember a golden egg and a maze. The boy is everything. It cannot be done without him, and it will be done exactly as I said. Beside, I'll tell so I can give our guest. A proper greeting. I How did Voldemort is what? He his hands are really small, and I don't know if Harry was able to see that. It looked like he was able to see it, but so is Voldemort back or like is in some weird type of state? Angry everyone. Works with me at the Ministry. This Edward? young lad must be Cedric. Am I right? Yes, sir. This way. Edward. Edward Colin. Wait, is his name Colin from um, Twilight? It is. And he came back, jumped from the tree. So he's literally a vampire in this movie. Like, why were you in the tree? It's a totally different series. Is this, eh? huh. See, Shambles, Edward could do it because he's a vampire. He's been living for for years. Oh shit! There's actually loads of people here. But shouldn't they be able to fight back? Because they're wizards as well. I'm just like everyone here. It's the guy from Doctor Who. Wait, so is that like a sign for Voldemort? Okay, Harry. A love interest, but we still don't get no Hermione action. <laughs> is this Paris of the Caribbean? They're coming by shit. <laughs> Wait, why, why, why did they do that? <laughs> they started walking. <laughs> and they're just like that. <laughs> I was, the first one was so funny, because I was like, like, why? Is that how you say welcome? Like, I don't know. So that Tri-Wizard um, tournament. That what has the maze and the egg in it because I'm I don't know how the egg will be thrown into this movie, but I'm quite sure the maze is something to do with the tournament. Okay, well, well, for you gonna attack Dumbledore there for a second. Named because they are unforgivable. The use of any one of them will earn you a one-way ticket to Azkaban. <laughs> what did I ever do next? Jump out the window. Drown herself? Stop it!
Maybe you shouldn't be drinking. The Dermstadt champion is Victor Krupp! Yeah. Harry Potter. Harry Potter! I know Harry's in his fourth year, so it's not 17, he's like what, 15 now? So he's two years too young? He is, as of tonight, a tri wizard champion. Lie beneath those curls. In short, what makes a champion tick? Is he described as well? Vastly more emotionally mature than yourself to have mastered spells that you wouldn't attempt in your dizziest daydreams. You didn't hear a name. No, um, Voldemort was giving him a job to do. First task? You're joking. Come on, Harry. These are seriously misunderstood creatures. Pathetic. Oh, no, you don't, Sonny! Uh, I really hope Draco has, like, a really good story. Some character development. Because for the, like, for the past four movies, he's been the same person. Like, I kind of want him to change a little bit very soon. Maybe this, or the, by the fifth one it has to, because it's, it's, it's too much of the same person. He has to go through some trials and tribulations, and it's only really, like, the main people from Gryffindor who is really changing. So, hopefully that happens, because he's, like, a big person in the storyline. I don't know. Well, I can fly. I mean, I'm a fair flyer, but I... Better than fair, the way I heard it. After that, you just have to... Battle and dragon. Oh my, did, did they just ruin the Hermione and Harry moment? Like, are they ever gonna have another moment? I've waited like for four, four movies for that. My man Harry. Okay. Now you just need to move, maneuver, and get that. Up on your broom, up on your broom. Alright, you did it, finally. <laughs> what you want about? It looks like it hasn't been washed in Jimmy. years. They're for you. <laughs> Tell me, Harry, you say dragons. If you can't get a date, you can. How does Harry get no girls? He's Harry Potter. He's a champion. He's in the tournament. That's automatically. Oh, girl. Very well spotted. Can we run away? <laughs> <laughs> Why did Harry get here? <laughs> You're a girl. Okay, Hermione dressed up. Go on. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Wait, in the beginning I thought Harry and Hermione had a moment when she hugged him. And then now she said one should have asked her out. Mm, but this one was more emotionally attached. Instead of Harry's little hog, it was like a quick moment. This one is like real war motion. So, is Hermione and Ron going to end up together? Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. To recover what we took. Okay. I'm trying to think what clue that could be. For an hour, then great. But otherwise... I don't know about a turnip, but you can always use gillyweed. So wait, he's supposed to take one and Hermione, or just one? That's probably like one of his most impressive performances. 
What did you say to Excuse me? Excuse me, gentlemen. It may interest you to know this conversation is no longer private. You have been brought from Azkaban at your own request to present evidence to this council. Should your testimony prove consequential? Given evidence on this matter, Severus Snape was indeed a death eater, and prior to Lord Voldemort's downfall, turned spy for us. Snape was a death eater? Oh, I don't know if he's good or bad now. He said it was a spy, but... Snape? It makes sense Snape was a death eater, but is he, is he still bad? This reminds me so much of Mains Runner right now. You guys are for the same team. Well, ish. Wait, can you bring it back? Uh... You mean Cedric is dead? Voldemort has no nose. That is why he's breathing that aggressively. Why has he got no... Is he supposed to be like similar to a snake? I know a snake is like his whole thing. And again, Slytherin as well. But why has he got no nose? He's fine! You understand? Harry, take my body back, will you? Take my body back to my father. That's my son! This is my boy! So sorry for the dad. Wait, is he drinking a spell? I think Cedric Diggory! told you to open the egg underwater if I hadn't told him first myself. Oh, he's the, the junior kid. Yeah. I still don't know why he does that tongue thing. Man, I didn't know want Cedric to die. The bonds of friendship we made this year. I actually liked his character. More important. Like, why couldn't that just be Malfoy? No spell can reawaken the dead, Harry. I trust you know that. Everything's going to change now, isn't it? Yeah, Voldemort's back. Okay, I keep on saying this after each one, but this is my favorite one now. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite one. Like, there was so much story. I like the new characters which they did. I like the Quidditch World Cup, even though we didn't get to see it that much. Don't know if it's going to be any... Actually, it's probably not, because now Voldemort's back, so the story's going to be heavily about that. The first four movies was to do with, like, the world, exploring it a little bit, getting some background knowledge of some of the followers and everything like that. Now we're going to be moving into... Well, he was 14 in this one, so he's going to be 15 in the other one, and then I think order up to 18. So now we're going to go to a little bit more adult stuff as well. Still don't know who Hermione's going to be with. Like, she was crying when she had that little argument with Ron, and she kissed Harry. No, she hugged Harry, so yeah, hopefully it's Harry. But if it's Ron, then don't mind, I guess. Okay, so Malfoy's dad is... Is something gonna happen to him because Harry did see him and does that mean Drake well will Draco get expelled or has to go somewhere else because his dad's a death eater and he's been plotting to bring Voldemort back as well so I don't know what type of punishment he's gonna be unless he's going to Azkaban which would make some sense so I don't know if his dad got caught or anything like that. Okay, so now it's been about six, seven hours. Had to have like a little sleep. I was gonna do four and then four. Now, after sleeping, I think I really do like the third and the fourth movie. Number two had some good moments. I was surprised, you know, Tom Riddle was Voldemort. That was like the biggest shock. And also, Harry can talk to snakes. And I think in the fourth one, Voldemort can talk to snakes as well. He was talking to that pet, his pet snake. Forgot the name. Don't know if Voldemort said the name, but that's the ability they both share. So 
I'm guessing he got it from Voldemort. They have some weird type of connection. They haven't really explained it yet. The fifth one is called Order of the Phoenix. On the title, in the picture, it has Voldemort. So I know he's going to be in here. And he's going to be doing something. So, be called in trouble. I'm thinking, what are they going to be doing for the next four movies? Because Voldemort's already back. And then, you know, we could just end it in this movie. But, yeah. So, I'm guessing there's loads of more character development. Draco needs some character development. Because, yeah, he's just been a prick for four movies. So, that needs to happen. Dumbledore a little bit. He's holding secrets. So, I'm guessing some's going to be revealed. Harry still needs more training. I don't know if he's ever going to be, like, a really good wizard and then face Voldemort. I don't know if that's where the story's going to be going. Um, Hermione, the love triangle needs some development as well. They started doing that in the fourth movie. Don't know where they're going to side to. And if they do, then one of them's going to have to find another girl. And that's probably going to be something that's going to be happening in the next two movies. Because in the beginning, I thought it was going to be Harry and Hermione. But then... Ron and Hermione had a lot of stuff going on as well. Like they held hands in the forest with that creature. I think that was the third one and you know them complaining in the fourth one. So that's gonna be very interesting. Hopefully there's a lot of fights in this movie. This one deserved it. Yeah. Why is he dressed up like that? Very bright. Oh, how how are they the same speed? What? Harry is so slow if he's keeping up. <laughs> You should be miles in front of him. Get it? Get it? Get the... Wait, can they do that to humans? Mmm! See how easy that was for Harry? But can Dementors do that to humans? Is that a thing? Uh, like he's a little bit more bearable than you know the first movie. <laughs> they have to cover his face. <laughs> he does look so twisted. I clean these muggles. Stay in formation, everyone. Don't break ranks if one of us is killed. Okay, the squad. Bringing Harry home. Don't know where he's going. Heavens, you're all right. <laughs> Sirius. Hey, Sirius looks clean as hell. Him and Lupin as well. Oh shit, okay. So my favorite characters are back. Huge numbers at his command are not just witches and wizards, but all manner of dark creatures. What, what is it? You can't, you can't leave me on that. So, he's looking for something, a weapon. What do, is that like a special? What type of we weapon do wizards use then? I don't know what he could be trying to get. Oh, so they're, they're building up for the fight. So the fight's gonna happen in the eighth movie. Yes, but we must be. Wait, no, 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 He's a deaf, he's a deaf eater. How, how is he still able, why is he not in prison? Dead Patronus? No. Are you aware that you were forbidden to use magic outside school while under the age of 17? No witnesses of the event. Pardon me, Minister, but as it happens, we can. It sounded for a moment as though you were suggesting that the ministry had ordered the attack on this boy. Who is this girl? The shut he wasn't even talking to you. Ah, right, he's coming. Charges are gonna be dropped. Cleared of all charges. I can see them too. Is she reading? You're reading the upside down. Professor Dolores Umbridge. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing the professor good luck. Why every movie there's a new teacher? Is that a thing which happens or they just decide to leave? Because I'm quite sure she's going to leave now. And that would have been like five movies in a row when they had a new teacher. Why did she... Oh, is she going to be like a spy for the ministry? And she wears way too much pink. And I just didn't like her in that whole, you know, meeting with Dumbledore. Like, she outspoke. Like, he didn't need to speak. Progress. 
for the sake of progress, must be discouraged. Bard, and you will be rewarded. Fail to do so, and the consequences may be severe. But there, dear, who do you imagine wants to attack children like yourself? Oh, I don't know. Maybe Lord Voldemort. Oh, no. She is crazy. She has cats on her walls. That's physical abuse. She is abusing him. Oh, stop writing. Did he, did he write the whole thing? Bloody hell, Harry. The woman's torturing you. If the parents knew about this. Yeah, well, I haven't got any of those, have I, Ron? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Things at Hogwarts are far worse than I feared. Cornelius will want to take immediate action. <laughs> Actually, I can. Mmm. I like a comedic relief in Harry Potter. We do not, however, have the authority to banish him from the grounds. That power remains with the headmaster. Blimey, Harry. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, and he killed a basilisk with the sword in Dumbledore's office. It's true. The thing is, right? He has some like good talents, but Hermione is probably like the more gifted witch or wizard. So are they both gonna be teaching people? Ron doesn't need to teach anybody. Just, just like you know, you be the student. But I think they both should do it. And I don't know what Harry is really gonna be teaching them. But Hermione is gifted as well. She throughout the you know five movies, she's displayed so many different you know spells. So has Harry. He's done some spells which I'm like I'm kind of impressed with. But yeah, hopefully Hermione and Harry do it at the same time. I feel like they should have like done this when they're like 16, 17. What's that? Show couldn't take her eyes off you, could she? Ginny is jealous. Don't know if Hermione is jealous. God damn, I just want Harry and Hermione to go, you know, go together. Everybody knew that result was going to happen. Jenny! Might be the best wizard in that family. What? A mistletoe came out of... out of nowhere and now they're going to kiss? No idea. Oh, Cedric is looking in disappointment of you guys kissing. This is the black family tree. My deranged cousin. I hated the lot of them. A Death Eater named Bellatrix Lestrange he used the Cruciatus curse on my parents. Wait, Bellatrix, is that Sirius's cousin? I'll make short work of this. That was cool as shit. Like in the beginning, I was like, Dumbledore, like, Dumbledore was powerful than all of them. So he can literally do what he wants. And I was like, I don't really see him going away quietly. And then he just did that. I was like, okay, you know, he's probably gonna go on a broom or something, I'll fly away, or maybe on a creature. He said, F that, I'm just gonna disappear. I couldn't just leave him because, because he's my brother. That's your brother. Really. So, Hagrid is a small person in his family. Serious. I may vomit. Stop it. Your lessons are at an end. I to get. Snape is like the most interesting character. Like, there's so much story behind him for his motives, but I haven't seen that much of it. Sorry, Professor. I must not tell lies. What are you Ooh. doing? 
What happened to her though? Did she, is she like, did she die? Did she come back? It's a trap. This is a trap. This is a trap for something. It's so strange. Is that for Longbottom, is it? How's mom and dad? Better now they're about to be avenged. Hmm. <laughs> Never you better kill her. Coming in badass with them dropping the light. Oh, she just did. So serious. Ah, he's like my favorite character. He became my favorite. Mm. Do I want to? <laughs> I was about to say, do I want to carry on? Oh. And she killed Neville's Ah, oh, shit. I thought Neville was gonna do something to her, but now Harry's got even more. Imagine they both are equally, but... Okay, she's dead, she's gonna die. She's gonna, she's gonna die. If she don't die, I don't know what I'm gonna do, okay? Hopefully, she dies, like, next one. Or the end of this one. Oh, so she, mm, I kinda don't like how it's like, once you do that, and you don't block, I don't know if you can block it, but once you do that curse, then there's nothing. It's like, there's nothing you can do. It's automatically death. That's kind of cool, but same way, kind of wish there was like, you had like a time limit or something where you can actually, you know, reverse it or heal the person or help the person. But he, ah. Uh, I wonder how Lupin actually feels as well, because that's like his best friend from the way I see it. Oof. If Lupin, oh, if Lupin dies as well, <clears throat> Lupin, you. <laughs> she said I killed. <laughs> Use the spell. Use the spell. Use the spell. Use it. I don't care if it's gonna damage you. You're already damaged. You might as well do it. <laughs> He got him in a water bubble. Yeah, Harry, you're in the way. Move. I swear, Harry, if you do not get up and move. It isn't how you are like. It's how you are not. And you'll never know love. Or friendship. Or even know how to sniff properly because you have no nose. He's back. Voldemort doesn't have. Yeah? Something worth fighting for. <sighs> Serious Black died. That was the biggest thing I took from this movie. Ah, oh, why did he and didn't get no revenge? I thought that was the time when Harry was gonna, you know, kill her. And then, you know, for the next, maybe like the next movie, cause I think it's called Half-Blood Prince, that he, you know, try and he might turn bad. And then that's what all that movie was gonna be because he killed her and used to curse and now he's kind of bad. I thought that was gonna happen, but that didn't happen. So maybe they're leaving that for Neville to do something with that. But still, Harry still has to do something, okay? He needs to get some type of revenge. Okay, Malfoy, there's been no, hasn't been that much character development. Now, I don't know throughout the whole eight movies if they're gonna be in Hogwarts with the whole thing, because then if they're like a little bit adults, then it would make some sense there'll be more character development. But I want something to happen, because like he's been the same person throughout the whole five movies, and hopefully he does changes a little bit because he's just the same prick like and yeah i know his dad's a death eater don't know if draco's gonna be going you know through the same thing as his dad and become a death eater as well or i would like to see him you know go up against his dad and then maybe harry and him can be friends but i don't know if that's gonna happen yet I, I really don't because we've got three movies for him to change even though that three movies is a lot but I just don't want it all to happen within like a short part of a movie it needs to you know set a couple seeds 
and then let develop for a couple of movies and okay Domino's army or Harry's army or the people who are learning so now they can go back to learning magic normally but I'm guessing you know that core group is going to be really important in you know the future movies when Ever they have their big showdown, and I don't know where that's gonna be. Um, I kind of got a little bit hyped with Voldemort and Dumbledore's little bell. Harry was in the way like half the time, right behind Dumbledore, so he was kind of holding back so nothing you know goes in Harry's way. Kind of wish the fight was like a longer, maybe a little bit longer, maybe like one or two minutes longer because I know that they're like the most badass, you know, wizards, so kind of want to see some more spells. Okay, the sixth movie I was right is The Half-Blood Prince. Ah, uh, if any more people die, if Lupin dies as well, mmm, I'm not very happy about that. Sirius Black was my favorite character. I don't, you know what, it's kind of weird. I don't, I do like the main three people, Voldemort as well, but yeah, some of the side characters are really, really good. I don't know, they have really, really good lines with them. The Death Eaters are just doing whatever they want now. Hey, I was wondering. Eleven. That's when I get off. You can tell me all about that toss of Harry Potter. It's a trap. It's a trap. Take my arm. Do as I say. How is that? That was my first day I was able to get like that. Well, I must say you make he a was hiding as a chair. Armchair, Horace. <laughs> It's all in the upholstery. You no doubt know of his older brother, Sirius, died a few weeks ago. I taught the whole black family, uh, except Sirius. But this was only set three weeks after Order the Phoenix Dam. Oh, oh, that's a lingering hug. They had a moment. Ginny. That's a longer hug than Hermione had. Run along, one toe. I I know I It's just empty words. Carry out the deed. The Dark Lord has ordered a Draco. So Draco, a Death Eater now? And Sna Snape is a Death Okay, I kind of suspected him. But then Dumbledore said he was a spy. So he still could be a spy? Oh, but now, now Draco has to do something for Voldemort. And it's something in Hogwarts, obviously. So, ah, this is just so, I'm, this is actually so interesting. The beginning of Harry Potter for like the first, first 25 minutes since I think like the third one has been really, really great. Mummy ever tell you it was rude to eavesdrop Potter? Put your just for Callus! Shit. Okay. Malfoy's become a little bit more talented. Tom Riddle. Bowed him out. Freshly mown grass and new parchment and spearmint toothpaste. She's in love with Ron? That is Ron, that's exactly him. The toothpaste from the beginning, the grass and everything. Mm, I don't know, I'm still shipping Harry and Hermione. Oh, so this is like a... How did you do that? This person is like smart, Gosh, don't cut it. the book. So perfect, I dare say one drop would kill us all. Damn, Harry outperformed Hermione. When you first met him, I'd like you to see it. If you want. There have been incidents with the other children. Nasty things. Tom. So Tom is an orphan? Things other children can't. I can make things move without touching them. Then? Did I know I just met the most dangerous dark wizard of all time? No. I did. Do you want me to let him? Yes. Is this the room of requirements? No. Wait, is it? I can't remember what this room is called. Is it room of requirements? No. Uh, 
Oh, feelings, Weasley, all right? Hey, runs, girl. Oh, feelings. Come on. Yeah. One's way of blocking is so, like, really bad. Select a student or two. Would you be game? I, I'd consider it an honor, sir. <coughs> You'd be welcome too, Granger. I'd be delighted, sir. Splendid. Look for my owl. <laughs> Good to see you all. Come on, a little bit. That was a big ass drop. She might be dead. Dumbledore. Very well, thank you, Leanne. You make Oh, so they're trying to kill Dumbledore some type of way? Potter. Indeed. Your evidence? I just know. Malfoy was sent to kill Dumbledore. And he was gonna. I don't think that would have killed Dumbledore. If he didn't kill Katie, then why would it? So that's his plan. Oh, and then Snape has to do it. Mm. I still don't know if Snape's a good person or not. Dentists. They attend to people's teeth. Liquid luck. Don't drink it, Ron. The music they'd be playing with this and the slow mo. <laughs> Hermione is heartbroken. Mm. So he didn't give him the the thing. It was a placebo effect. And then he kisses her. You see, Dean with Ginny. Why can't you just tell him? Why can't ah uh, this so this whole movie for them is gonna be trying to work out their feelings and trying to you know explain it and tell each other. Point is, I'm a free agent. He's a perfect liberty to kiss whomever he likes. I really couldn't care less. Yes, out of all others, me. I won't fail him. Okay, Harry should be able to put it together. He's trying to kill Dumbledore. Yeah, loop and you move. Yeah. I will say, you're kind of cock blocking at the moment. <laughs> at least no one died. But now, they came for your house and your family. Up, Tom? Don't be caught out of bed after hours. There's something on your mind, Tom. Oh, I beg your pardon? I don't know anything about such things, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Oh, my name. Oh, my name. That's it, now they're together almost. So wait, he's sending it to that place where the other Death Eaters were at? Some type of transportation thing? Oh, is this the match I've been waiting for? Malfoy and Harry? Malfoy and Harry, finally. It's about time. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, he's bleeding throughout his whole chest. Oh, he's bleeding throughout his whole chest. Shit! Is Malfoy? He's not dead. No, he can't be dead. All right, close your eyes. That way, you can't be tempted. It feels like it was it's so forced. I read the books. Maybe they've done it so much better there. And then between two and five, 
Like there was some parts, like I think it was after the second or the third when Harry went to Ron's house and then she was kind of excited. And then some other moments, you know, Harry lingering at her and looking at her and stuff like that. So there is some hints that, you know, their relationship is growing, but it just feels like it just took a big jump. And they have, they have seven movies to do this and they could have done it so much better. Wish you could have seen him in his prime. Magnificent he was. Just magnificent. Understand it. A Horcrux. I beg your pardon? Seven. Merlin's beard, Tom. Isn't it bad enough to consider killing one person? This is how he survived. He survived because he put his soul into different objects. And then that's what he did in in number two. I don't know. I think he said something. Tom said something about a memory or his soul. I can't remember what he said when he was speaking to Harry when he revealed his Voldemort. He said, this is a memory or this is part of my soul, which was inside the book. Something like that. So that was the book is a Horcrux. He was on a mission with Dumbledore. Dumbledore is legit. He's he's actually so good. Oh. Die. She's been she's been here for two movies. She needs to go now. Please let me help you. I don't want your help. Don't you understand? I have to do this. Please. Have I cut off her? Nope. Nope, I'm done. I'm done. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Oh, what the... Okay, if Harry, if Harry stepped in full Snape... Okay, shit. Because Dumbledore didn't have his wand, and if he... Well, I'm quite sure... Why did Dumbledore let him do that though? Why did he let Malfoy disarm him? I'm quite sure he did. He could have like countered that and he probably could have beaten all f I think there was like three other with Bellatrix so uh, And then Snape again with the That promise he did and from the beginning when he said if Malfoy can't do it then he's gonna do it and then he ended up doing it and I kind of suspected that might happen because I, then again, I did say, you know, he needs some type of story, Malfoy. And if he kills Dumbledore, then he won't be able to get a story. Because either way, he's most likely going to die if he killed Dumbledore. So that happened. Ah, there's like 20 minutes left. And I don't even know if I want to watch the rest of the 20 minutes. Oh, why did Dumbledore die? Oh, but like now, now we've got two. So wait, who's gonna be the headmaster for the next two movies? Yes, I'm the half blood prince. Yes, yeah, so we need to find more of the Horcruxes. I don't. So did he split it seven times? I'm quite sure that's what he said before. So we have. What is it? Four or five more to find? Wait, is Hogwarts going to be closed? I don't know. And I'm guessing this time in the summertime, Harry is not going to be just like relaxing. He's going to be on a mission. Ah, oh, He needs the showdown. There's like so many showdowns we need to have. We need Voldemort and Harry. Bellatrix and... Ooh, with Harry or Neville, don't know. Most likely it's going to be Neville and then Snape and Harry Like I know Snape might be a spy or he might be working with Voldemort either way Him and Harry probably need to I don't know if they're gonna fight 
but he might explain himself. But yeah, they need to talk on on different terms. And for now, I really hate yeah, I hate his name at the moment. But the tricks, it's like Voldemort is not even the person I hate the most at the moment. It's like Bellatrix, Snape, and then Malfoy, and then Voldemort. That's how it is. I might hate him in the next one. Forgot what that one's called. So, yeah. Okay, had some stuff to eat. Had to shower because the last two movies. Now, I know this is going to be really intense. So, I had to have a shower and eat because I need to be alert. I was getting a little bit tired. It's been six movies. And this is a two-part. Oh, it's a two-part movie. Okay, Deathly Hallows. Okay, now, is Hogwarts like closed? Okay, I don't know if Hogwarts is closed. But in this movie, they should be 17, so they can use, you know, magic outside of Hogwarts. So that fits perfectly. I'm quite sure, you know, during the summertime, now they're just gonna be going straight and looking for those things Domino told them to look for. So, don't know if he's gonna battle Voldemort. Uh, no, 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 he can't do it yet. I just, I just thought about it, it's a two-part movie, so it has to be on to the second movie. But I don't mind if he fights now, like a little fight, and then the main battle can be in the second part. Bellatrix. Actually, you know what? I didn't say it in the sixth movie, but Lupin. I wouldn't mind if he gets revenge as well, because he lost his best friend. So, he's wanted by three people. Okay, that's Harry, Neville, and Lupin. I don't really mind. I don't really mind either, but I, if she's gonna die, I don't know if Neville would do it. Lupin, yes. Harry, maybe, depending on what happens in this, this movie, it becomes like a little bit more of a savage, and he doesn't care about the rules that much because Dumbledore, you know, did the rules and then look what happened to Dumbledore so maybe he might change his mind Differently to a safe house. Most likely the home of someone in the order. I'm told it's been given every manner of protection. If I am to kill him, I must do it with another's wand. My lord. <laughs> yeah, he does I kiss your ass a lot. <clears throat> Dragon Heart String. Dragon Heart String. At Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Her speciality was Muggle Studies. Tries the wrong side. Always been a huge admirer. Nip it, Mundungus! All right, Granger, I was disgust. Blimey, am I? Wow. wow, we're identical. Not yet, you're not. They knew. No, no. <sighs> I said when, when I was saying, I don't want Hagrid to die. At that same moment. His bird, um, his owl was going somewhere. I don't know where it was going. And now they killed. I know it's just an animal, but that does hurt like it was a human. <clears throat> okay. The good side it's been taking L's. We've been we've been taking losses now. Since since the fourth that movie actually. Since Cedric died. Is that his name? Cedric? 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 Shit. Edward. <laughs> I think it's Cedric. Since he died, we've been taking L's. Like, we need, we need to get some bodies now. I know it's not the type of series, but yeah, let's, let's kill a couple people. Oh my boy. Oh. 
Okay, he's not dead. He's not dead. Man, I want Lupin to like go werewolf mode or something and kill someone. Thanks. Deserves that. Brilliant he was. I wouldn't be standing here without him. Really? I'm sorry, no matter whose it is, I have to start finding these horcruxes. Uh, there dear, are only people are dying. Do you think he knows? I mean, they're bits of his soul, these horcruxes. Okay, I'm all here for it. Get some romantic love with Harry and Ginny, but it was just like every single movie it jumps so much. They jumped like four steps. Like, okay, it's the I don't Yeah. It's the first is that the first kiss? I'm trying to remember. It might be, but it just feels like we just skipped so much, like every single time, every summer, the relationship increases and enhances and I don't actually get to see that. And that's the one thing which I really don't like about that. The ministry has fallen. The minister of magic is dead. Oh, I'm just seeing green lights everywhere. You're joking. I've had all the essentials packed for days. Suppose you did mad eye. How would you feel then? Well, the fact that I am, we need to catch some buddies. Their memories. Everyone wants vengeance, and I'm liking that. I'm here for that. I feel, I feel the same as well. I feel like we need to do that. Let the other lock it. Is. Yes, but did you ever see it? Was it in this house? Selfie, my blood. Get off me! Ooh. Was it really? You still got it. Well, he's worried he didn't get enough money for it. Bleeding, give it away, didn't I? But it was Bellatrix for a second. Ah, uh, her and Bellatrix, I really, really hate. I don't like either of them. Well, obviously, for different reasons. Are those? Muggles. In their rightful place. Runcorn. Like a big person in this ministry. Down here. I'm half blood. My father. My father was a wizard. William Alderton. Stupid! <laughs> Is that domain? Yeah, let's, let's go, let's move. Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> ah. Oh, run. Is that it's gonna sting a little bit. People are dying, dying. Crap. His followers has got so big now. They should have put entities in Order of the Phoenix. Something. I thought you knew what you were doing. I thought Dumbledore would have told you something worthwhile. I thought you had a plan. I told you everything Dumbledore told me. Makes you think in a different way. It's like the similar type of thing with Lord of the Rings when you wear the ring for too long or you have it around your neck. He's been holding it for a while. Like. The whole montage of them moved to place to place. I think he had it when I was listening to the that radio with all the people dying. They should change like every eight hours, eight hours. So then everyone gets to wear it for the whole day. Now I'll have to speak to it in order for it to open. When it does, don't hesitate. I don't know what's in there, but it'll put up a fight. Happy without you. Who could look at you? Harry with your sister. Oh, that's kind of bad for Harry to do that. It's fine. Actually, you know, it's more than fine. It. And how is it that you just happen to have the sword of Gryffindor? My name. Just my name. Mm. 
like a whisper. See, this is how they should build some relationships. Look at the signature. It's the mark again. It keeps cropping up. The what? what? The what? The Deathly Hallows. I assume you're all familiar with the tale of the Three Brothers. Asked for a wand more powerful than any in existence. So Death fashioned him one from an elder tree that stood nearby. And so it was that Death reluctantly handed over his own cloak of invisibility. The wand, Dono. The stone, it's not the philosopher's stone, right? No, 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 that, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't make sense. The stone, stone. Have I seen the stone? And the cloak. I thought it was loads of invisibility cloaks. And I thought it was a normal thing. So Harry already has one of them. I'm quite sure he's got one of the Deathly Hallows. Time to catch some bodies. Get up, get up, run. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Dumbledore had the wand. Is that a secret weapon which they mentioned like two, three movies? That's what he was looking for. I'm just waiting for her to die. Okay, Ron, Harry, you gotta do something. You saying you can operate in and out of this room? Could you take us with you? Of course, I'm an elf. Looks for me. <laughs> Dobby, I swear to God. Just in time for the Dark Lord. Call him. <laughs> it's not. Oh, oh, mm, mm. First, it was serious. It's like they're killing my favorite character. Ah, oh. ah, oh, it's like since number four, loss of the lot. I know you have to build it up so the threat level for you know. The last movie is intense, I get that. But we haven't really taken anyone out. And that's the only thing. It's not like it's like even it's so lopsided. Oh, why did he We should close his eyes? I'm kinda of emotionally invested now. I think why I really like the later ones is because I it's kind of like Avengers. There's so many movies and then now you really know the characters. I haven't read the books but now like I know them like really really close and especially this is like in one day so everything is just rushing and we keep on losing too many good people. Like why did why did Dobby have that might hurt more than serious black, to be honest. And the owl. Mmm. <sighs> Shit. Like, I was like, in the beginning, I was like, okay, movie going kind of great. Nothing too bad. And then, yeah. And you know what the bad thing is? Again, we killed Dobby. But, mm, like, I don't want her to get locked up. No, she needs to die. She doesn't need to get locked up. <sighs> uh, now the big battle's happening. I don't know who's going to be on Harry's side, how he's going to get, you know, a large crowd. It's probably going to be quite a lot of people who were uh, in the fifth movie in the army. We need more, like, majority of the students from Hogwarts to be in it because like they're all now 18 so that that should be a lot of people don't know how many people from Slytherin have joined the Death Eaters um maybe a couple 
But oh, there's gonna be a big showdown. Don't know where the showdown's gonna take place. We need to take some bodies from the other team because we've been taking so much else. This one was very interesting though. I like the plot. Um, it was different because it wasn't in Hogwarts, and that was a big change for me. Because like the other six was straight there. Don't know if I enjoyed it. I just like the scenery in Hogwarts. Okay, now this is the last movie. 18 hours. 18 hours. I, the theme song for Harry Potter is, is, is stuck in my head now. It, it's stuck. I can just hear it playing and playing. I went to go get something and I was singing it. Singing it. I was like, shit. It's, it's too much. 18 hours. And I think I watched 18 hours of film in about... Pff, 26 hours or something, a little bit of sleep, and then the rest of it just being Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Oh, I'm glad I'm getting this one out of the way first though, because it's like the longest thing which I think I'm ever gonna do, unless if I do like Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, because I know some of them are like three hours. But let's get back to this now. The battle. I know it's gonna happen. I don't know how epic it's gonna be, but I can't wait. Now, Harry side. We've we have been taken. I know I keep saying it, but since the fourth movie i don't think no one really died in the third movie no no i don't know no one died in the third movie the third movie was very important though i think that might be the most important movie of everything it shaped direction of the whole you know series of the movies so that was really important and it was actually one of my favorites like when i came to think about it i'm like it's probably in my top three that the part one of this was actually one of the worst ones. Chamber Secrets I really didn't enjoy and part one. But ooh, I don't know if I want Malfoy to die. The dad, yes. Snape, yes. Bellatrix, oh but she killed Dobby. Serious? Did she get I'm quite sure she killed someone else as well. Yeah, I, I can't wait for this. You buried the elf. Yes. It brought me here. That is my price. Need that though for the Horcruxes. Anything, my boy, anything. Would you mind identifying this wand? This was the wand of Draco Malfoy. The wand chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. You said that in the first movie. I didn't forget that. Hermione, come on. I knew that roller coaster was lit from the first movie. They that is the Gemino curse. Everything you touch will multiply. At least we've still got Bogrod. Well, he's gone. So we're flying on dragons now, huh? He's right. One problem. Slave's headmaster now. We can't just walk through the front door. Wait, is that snake or Horcrux? It said stay close. It's just a snake. So why would you want the snake to stay close? I know it's probably like a good friend. Neville. Oh, you know. Like hell, I reckon. Neville, oh shh. He looks so different. I haven't seen him in one whole movie. Oh, bloody hell, here we go. Last died of Ravenclaw? Hasn't anyone heard of us? You are surely wondering why I have summoned you at this hour. Can you see the contrast of how Hogwarts looks now? It's so dark and dull. Exhaustive defensive strategies. You still have a bit of a security problem, Headmaster. Came through the squad. If she died, I'd be pissed. My favorite teacher, Ben Lupin, took the school back in a couple of hours. That's 
See, Harry's a man of a plan. Ish. His name is Voldemort. Phileas, you might as well use it. He's going to try to kill you either way. She coming on number one. She number one right now. Lupin, I'm sorry, but I like us. They never learn. So he has an army for real. Destroyed. Another swore to destroy it many years ago. A strange boy with a strange name. It is the quality of one's convictions that determine success, not the number of followers. <laughs> Voldemort is pissed because they destroyed that last one. Don't grab him down. That went well. Is it? Oh, I thought someone was gonna put him down. About time I told us this. We'll probably both be dead by dawn. We do that. What? Your kiss in. Ah, uh, I think it might have been in the six. When that one's house. I think that's the fifth for the sixth movie. All of them is just like a blur and I can watch them all at the same time. But that kiss was better than this kiss. And this kiss that about to die. Or they could die. Mm, and we just had Hermione and um, Ron's kiss which was so much better than this. It's like this whole relationship could have been done so much better. And I'm not really interested i'm more interested in one and hermione's one because they put the seeds in so much better it's gradually increased over time this one is just like we don't see anything for a movie and then bam we're straight into it i don't know if the book's anything different but here it feels so much it feels too 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 rushed too <laughs> Oh, they're going for the kill. Is Martha gonna die? I don't know how I feel about this. Like, maybe Draco might change, but for now, I, I don't know. Wait, they can both feel this pain. I have a feeling that Harry's gonna die if Voldemort dies. Surely you must know. Where does its true loyalty lie? My lord. <laughs> Was he that close? Oh, his tears, and we're gonna see. Oh, we're gonna see the the memories. Which one is ah? Well, it's one of them. Doesn't really matter. Mm. One of the twins died. I said, and then I've been saying for like since Sirius died. I said, don't let Lupin die, and he, and they're still kind of holding. Oh my. Mm. Like I knew there had to be some deaths to make it because like those deaths and other ones and then this one is the final one so it has to be some but oh what because mm. I kind of want Harry to have like a father figure and Dumbledore's gone Lupin might have stepped in Serious. Oh. James Potter. Lazy. Arrogant. My father was a great man. Your father was a swine. It is the only way. Only then will the Dark Lord trust you completely. There's a loads of emotions running through my head right now. The boy must die. Yes. 
you must die. We've been building him up just to. Does it hurt? Dying. Quicker than falling asleep. Man, uh, what? I still can't take it, but he died. Wait, no, no, wait. So Harry just died. There's like 40, it's like a long time left. But he didn't kill the snake first. So does Harry, is he like in limbo? A part of Voldemort sent here to die. And exactly where are we? Inside my head. Of course it's happening inside your head, Harry. Why should that mean it's that not it's real. not real? Oh, I knew he was going to say that. Harry Potter is dead! <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be a serious part. <laughs> Them laughing was kind of wasn't that funny. His laugh. <laughs> His laugh. Why? <laughs> oh my! I don't know if it's because he got no nostrils, so he can't breathe, and then he came with that laugh. But that laugh was kind of funny. Well done, Draco. Well done. The most awkward dog ever. <laughs> Mm, okay, she dead still. She dead still. I actually you know why I really don't care. She dead. I was gonna. I wanted the killing curse, but we can go with that. Kinda wanted it to be Neville though. To someone else. Come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. Well lucky can Voldemort can kinda of fly because he'll be dead. <laughs> Neville. Didn't kill Benedrix, but you did this. Cause like this stupid wand. Double wonder. Double wonder. Voldemort got snapped. Voldemort got snapped. Uh. He got snapped eight years before everyone else got snapped. Draco. At Malfoy Manor. So that means. It's mine. ASP. AS oh, okay, it's Potter. It's one of Harry's children. Bag? Yeah. Jumper. Damn, Ron, you put in a bit of weight. Albus Severus Potter. You were named after two headmasters of Hogwarts. Called them Albus for Dumbledore and Severus for Snape. That's a. It's not a cool ass name, but it means a lot. So I like that. Especially Snape. One of my favorite people now. I didn't like him throughout, but what he stood for, I like him. All right, I've done it. One day. I just wanted to quickly talk about the last like couple minutes of what happened. I really didn't need to see a fast forward of 19 years. Um, if they were gonna show it, I kind of wanted to see like what they actually do as well. Maybe like spend a couple more minutes, like do any of them teach. I would have thought Hermione would at least teach somewhere. Harry, don't know. Maybe he would have taught something rich. Snape did or Albus did. So that's the only thing. Malfoy, he should be in prison for his actions. I don't know what happened to his dad. Maybe he was in prison for a couple of years or something because he has to still answer for his actions. He did quite a lot of stuff since the sixth movie and onwards, especially you know when he took the Death Eater side as well. So that was kind of strange for to see him just out and about. Um also, they ruined, they didn't ruin his character, but they didn't, he didn't get no redemption or, or like there was really no character development with him. I'm gonna say in the sixth movie, okay, see what they're doing now. They go more into his character 
And then the seventh one, which I probably one of the worst movies out of the bunch, it was spent too much on the main three. And I kind of wished they could like revisit a little bit with Malfoy and maybe you know change his character a little bit. And then for the eighth one, he does a completely you know U turn or something, or like he just went against his parents. I wish that happened because he's such an interesting character as well. I would have to say the third movie, the sixth, and this one, the eighth, was my favorites. The third one for opening it. The sixth one, there was so much stuff going on. I love the plot, it was so fast paced. And then the eighth for the action scenes, a lot of redemption, still some deaths which I didn't suspect. Oh, look. Loop and die. There was like there was so there were so many people from maybe like the fourth or fifth movie, and I was like, I know we're well, like halfway through, and I didn't want that to happen, and then it did happen. Serious, I'm still not gonna forgive that. Kind of wish Bellatrix, you know, her death was a little bit more, spend some more time in it. Like she was, I don't have to say she was tortured, but I wanted a lot more. And I still wanted Neville to be the one to kill her. Or Harry. Neville, you know, this movie, he, he changed completely. I, I'm quite sure he wasn't in the seventh movie. And then he looks so much different, first of all. He looks different. I don't know if he lost weight or anything like that. And then he was kind of a little bit like the MVP as well. He, was, he did a lot of stuff, which I didn't expect. His whole character changed. And I don't mind that because he's not one of like the big big characters, so I don't mind him, you know, miss a movie and then he's changed completely. They should have done that with Draco, like he should have changed a little bit, but he was too scared of his parents and Voldemort for that to even happen. Oh, that was great. I might start reading the books and then see what happens. I don't know if it was like does any difference. Um again, Harry and Ginny, ah, Ah, that, that was like one of the worst relationships. It's just, I just was never really interested. I couldn't, they didn't sell it hard enough. And it was like, they were more for Harry. They just want him to focus on Voldemort and finding everything. And with Dumbledore, instead of, you know, trying to build this love relationship at the same time, I think they could have done that so much better. Don't know if in the books, if that's slightly different. I was interested in Hermione and one more than Harry and that was surprising because they started doing that like from the fourth movie so they had like five movies of you know a relationship they could work on and then him and Ginny it was just like it was rushed like the kiss and then this and then that and I was like moving too fast and the big thing is the big three survived I was not expecting all three of them to survive sometimes I was thinking maybe one should go like, I think from the third movie, I was saying, okay, because there were some moments when I was thinking maybe Harry and Hermione would, you know, end up together. Then I was saying, okay, one's going to die, and then Harry and Hermione is going to get together eventually. That didn't happen. I think one should have died. If Hermione died, it would give a different reaction, and I don't think that would have worked. It wouldn't serve that much of a bigger purpose if one actually died. But yeah, and I guess, you know, JK wanted Ron and Hermione to have a relationship, which I don't know how I felt about that. They put it together really well, but I kind of wanted one of the big three to die. Like, there were some side characters which I think shouldn't have died and should have stayed. Like, Sirius served the purpose to die, but I just didn't want him to die just because of how I liked the character so much. Same thing with Lupin. Like, I don't think he should have died. I think. Yeah, because I wanted Harry to have a father figure and he didn't even get that. Oh, that was so good. It's like, I'm probably gonna like rewatch it again because I probably missed so much stuff. I just watched it within like a day and a bit. So there's loads of stuff which I wanna rewatch. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.